Hey, hey, YouTube, what is up? I've been playing my fair share of the Overwatch ranked playlist that finally came out, basically the competitive play, season one, and all in all, I am actually very satisfied with the final product that is the competitive mode. It works really well in my opinion. All the people I've played with on my team are actually geared toward the objective. It's not like quick play where people just dig around a bunch. I've actually had people that are dedicated to winning strategies and talking is you know prevalent so it's really really enjoyable actually i'd say it's comparable to like halo 3 if you ever played halo 3 in the early days when actually everybody talked and communicated on your team you actually did well and that's how i feel it is with this ranked play because everybody actually is talking there's strategy happening you actually get to play competitively even if you don't go into the playlist with a bunch of friends you actually still stand a chance of not losing immediately and that's something i'm actually very grateful for now what i have noticed is this is really next level play and people will switch characters on the fly to counter you and that's something that's hard and you know tough for me to get used to because i'm, I'm kind of used to quick play and not many people do that in quick play quick play is more for fun but this people take this hyper seriously and the characters that i see being the most useful or the ones that I fear the most are Reinhardt, Junkrat, Mercy, and sometimes Lucio or Lucio, however you want to pronounce it, if the character or the person playing Lucio rather is pretty good. Now the reason I say Mercy is because her team Rez really does turn the whole game around and I've had Mercy's just hide, heal her teammates, and then Rez 5 for play the game and it's pretty tough to get out of a Rez 5. Like I've done my uh my Reinhardt Quake, I've hit, killed four people with my team collectively, you know, Farah does her ultimate on top of my Quake, works out really well, they all get rezzed, and then we all get wrecked because they're all hyper-offensive characters standing on the point. So it's actually tough to get out of, and Mercy really does turn games around. I say Junkrat just because he has so much spam ability, he really pushes you back. And in a competitive game mode, if you get pushed back or killed, it actually could be very detrimental. The reload, or the respawn time rather, isn't that much different, I don't think it's different at all. But your team can get wiped out because people are really competitive in this. It's not like quick play. There's actually really, really good players in this, and I'm really surprised. Like, I'm pretty much my best character is Reinhardt, and even as Reinhardt, sometimes I have a tough time and I just get outclassed or outplayed by other characters that really know their character well and know the strategies really, really well. They know their characters in and out in this game mode. And I didn't think people of this caliber existed yet in Overwatch just because I hadn't run into them, but I just know that I never matched up with them. Because there's people out there that are on a completely different level than me, and I, can know, I know that wholeheartedly. Now, the only issue, really, that I've seen is that King of the Hill, for some reason, is bugged. That means that it gives, like, a sliver of what you should get for winning. For some reason, it gives you, like, I think it's like an eighth or a tenth of the XP for winning a King of the Hill match that does like every other match or something like that. It's a really, really small amount and I'm surprised. And if you lose King of the Hill, it's not the same. You actually lose the full amount. So it's a weird thing that's going on. It's obviously a bug in the system, but for ranked play and one of your three game modes doesn't give you more than like a 10th of the credit you actually should get for winning. That's a pretty tough thing to have in a ranked playlist that really does mess up the rankings a lot. And if a player that's really, really good just happens to play like 10 King of the Hill games and win 10 games, they're only going to go up like one level as opposed to winning 10 regular games and then they go up maybe five or six levels. So you're going to see a lot of people in the wrong bracket because of this error. It hopefully gets patched pretty soon. I don't know if they could actually fix it until after the playlist, you know, ends or whatever, but... I really hope they can fix it before the season ends because that's a really, really, really bad thing to have happen. To have one of your game modes not get the proper EXP for a ranked playlist, a competitive playlist, that's basically the first season of your game's online competitive scene. So it's pretty tough, but I hope it gets patched really soon. One thing that does bother me about this game type though, if you beat the opposing team's time, that is like the time it takes them to capture the second or final objective, I think you should win. If I captured the second objective in two minutes and it took your team 10 minutes, I think my team won. That's kind of unfair to me. And if you do tie, then you go into a coin flip and whoever gets attacking pretty much wins, which seems pretty unfair to basically decide the game on a coin flip. So those are the issues I have. I'm really excited to see where the competitive scene takes this game. And that's it for this video, guys. I feel like I'm going to be rambling if I keep going on. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at Schwab's or like my Facebook page to see when I post these videos. The link's in the description for that. And if you really liked it, don't forget to click subscribe because it's free, it's fun, and I'll see you guys in the next one.